All right, hello, and it's Silver Kyle, and today I'm going to be going over everything that I picked up in the month of May 2022. Uh, we've got some omnibus and video games here. Two of the omnibus I've already done overviews for. One of them, as I was picking up everything from May, I was like, ah, schnoots, I still haven't done a video for that. So I, I'm still a little bit behind on some of the omnibus that I picked up in the last few months. Uh, I do still plan on doing overviews for them. Uh, they'll just be a little bit late. So I'm hoping that the rest of June... I'm able to get caught up or that might spill into July. I, I don't want to do an over. I, I, I guess I could do an overview a, a day until I get caught up, which is a possibility. We'll see. Maybe, maybe we'll end up doing that. But either way, let's dive into what I picked up in uh, May. I got some good uh, physical copy of some um, RPGs here. I'm going to save that one for the end uh, and we'll take a look at these games first. And I think I got these all from PNP games here in Canada, uh, which generally get uh good sales here and there it's it's, it's essentially like any uh, other retailer for video games but every so once in a while they get some games that are from play asia or even limited run games uh they will get additional copies of those and then they'll, they'll try to sell them sometimes for retail price sometimes for a little bit lower i generally wait for a, a sale and that's when i pick them up uh, i got uh trails of cold St uh, the legend of heroes trails of cold steel three my goodness i had a hard time saying that the Legend of Heroes, Trails of Cold Steel 3. There, without lisping or anything. Uh, I do have the first and second of this uh, in the series. Uh, I still need to pick up four. And then there's a bunch of games that uh, that go along with it from like prequels. And then they're eventually going to be making like a fifth game kind of in... in it won't be... I, I, don't, th I don't think it's going to be Trails of Cold Steel 5. Uh, but it's going to kind of combine this series and the previous ones... Uh, that are kind of coinciding at the same time. It's a massive series, and I kind of want to get all of it. Uh, and uh, the other ones are going to be on Switch, I believe, and pot potentially PS4. I can't remember. I have a pre-order up for the next the, ne the next Trails game that's coming out this year uh, in North America uh, that I'm quite excited for. Just just to, to, to have it. I don't. I, I, is that the first one? Is that the one that I can start with? I can't remember. <laughs> uh, anyway. Also picked up Chrono Cross, uh, the uh, Dreamers Edition, which ended up uh, the Radical Dreamers Edition, which ended up getting a physical copy from Play Asia. I also got it from PMP Games. Uh, I think this was fifty can from uh, fifty Canadian plus tax, uh, and this was forty Canadian uh, with tax, I believe. Um, and you can see here that it doesn't have uh, the rating because it's. Is this an Asian copy? I believe it is. Is it from Asia? I mean, it's from Play Asia, but I know it's not a North American copy. That's all I know. But everything's in English for the copy itself. Not like obviously, I'm sorry, the game obviously, but uh, the case as well. And one that I'm really happy that I ended up getting uh, because they ended up getting um, th this. This is a game that it's actually it's not it's not even a full game, but this game has not had or this physical copy has been um out of print for a while now and um they just recently got a bunch of i don't know if it was like they ended up get getting a new stock or they found old stock i don't know what the heck happened but p and p games ended up getting the xenoblade chronicles 2 uh torna the golden country yeah so this is a prequel to xenoblade chronicles 2 and this you know, has gone up in crazy amounts of prices, uh, but they ended up getting a bunch of copies. And I'm really happy that I was able to get a sealed copy of this game. So freaking happy uh, that I have that. I have a little tape on Chrono Cross. It doesn't matter. It's, it's still sealed anyway. I just noticed that right now. Anyway, <laughs> so those are the video games that I am, ended up getting uh, over the course of May. Now we're going to go into the Omnibus. I ended up getting the Death of Superman or, uh, or Death and Return of Superman Omnibus. Really happy to have this because this just brings me back to my childhood with my first ever trade paperback. Uh, brings it like that, that brings it to the 90s. I also just DC did a great job with the eye on this one. Uh, I did an overview of this so you can kind of see it. But considering how many pages this is, this is just a freaking great job. Uh, and I really liked going through this and looking at the art. The art is just absolutely beautiful. Early 90s stuff. It's freaking nice. Really, really enjoy that. I'm just... 
enjoying myself over here instead of doing the video. Next up that I didn't do an overview of is X-Men Fall of the Mutants. Pretty much anything that's X-Men related I will usually pick up. X-Men, not X-Force or um, all what, what's all the other stuff that they have. Uh, uh, New Mutants, I won't pick up anything like that. I, I'm really just trying to stick with the main X-Men series. Uh, I might dive in, not to say that I won't dive into X-Force or New Mutants or anything like that down the line. It's entirely possible that I do, but for right now, it's just X-Men that I'm picking up, and I guess Wolverine. Uh, and Deadpool is, is, is another one, is the next one after that that I'll be trying to collect for in terms of X-Series. Uh, glad that we got... Uh, so this used to... I think this one used to be an oversized hardcover, and now we have the actual omnibus. Um, not that it really matters, but well, it's to some, because it's, then you just have, you want all the logos to kind of match, right? That's, makes sense. And last but not least, I ended up getting the, uh, Thor by Matt Fraction, which I did do an overview for. Another beast of a, uh, omnibus, like, I mean, Fall of Mutants is kind of small compared to others, but just to give you an idea. I can't remember what the page count is for each of these. But let's just compare Superman and Thor. Oh, man, these are massive. Oh, Superman's still bigger. I don't know if it has a... I think it has a larger page count. I don't remember. Oh. So there you have it. Not by much. <sighs> these are so much easier. The only negatives about Omnibus is that they weigh like 10,000 pounds. I mean, these ones are fine, but... That Superman one, that's, that's a big one. Anyway, <laughs> that's everything I picked up in the month of May 2022. Let me know in the comments below what you ended up picking up. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll talk to you all ne uh, next time. Thank you. Thank you. You've been bearded in. I'm completely butchered the ending there. <laughs> bearded. <laughs>